えますか聞こえていますかまっすぐお進みくださいそのまま先へ完全の敵を討ち力を示すのです。中へお入りください中へお入りくださいようこそ参られました若き騎士様私はセシリア騎士様を神域へ導くもの。Welcome. This is Lost Epic, another early access Steam new game. Well, available on Steam.、Um, this game is basically another action slasher with a huge skill tree to build your character, and it takes a lot to. Build said character. One of the things in this game is that when it comes to weapon crafting and item crafting, it relies heavily on drops, and you have to farm these things in order to get drops on for, for certain i for items. So. Ugh, that fox boy looks not good. So, they give you a variety of different types of male female characters to create. Let's see. I don't know, red or blue. A horn boy. Screw it, horn boys is. Your dodge and attack mechanic is kind of stiff. So, once again, it's not a game that plays like Mamasa, but plays more like、uh, what's that game? What is it called? It came out for the PlayStation. Dragon's Crown. So, movement is, you, know, you can move freely, but you're attacking a bit. It's very, you know, attacking a bit and dodge mechanics. It's very stiff and it's not free. Alright, you stop talking, please. You are not saying anything at all. So basically, this game is like it really is no town per se. Is comp is basically a, a what do they call it? A dungeon crawler. Initiation of the age. Cities are destroyed. Many battles are fought. The old king has come to this place. A new king has come to this place. The forces of the Jin, Piyoji, Lakurui, and the Mizu. ニオバニス、庇護する城郭、ランドルー、クルー、アンカーバイト、救済者、エフーフパーリー、教会の森
ノーザース新しい神々は世界の戦列による支配を守る神々の庇護を受け全てを持てる者神武選ばれしたのは神域で長く幸福を享受していた一方で神々から切り捨てられた全てを失った千年捨てられしたのは世界から切り離された地で死を待つことができるしかしその中で神々に挑む者たちは神々を殺すのさ真に自らの騎士となるその者たちはこの支配から解放を勝ち取るため神秘に足を踏み入れるのせよ Yes, as I stated. You know, the dodge mechanic will bust it. It's not fully, you know, it looks like you can dodge your enemies, but you really can't. Especially when you start coming up across the big ones. This is has what you saw there was some a break system. Here's the problem: you got stamina, so guess what? You gotta stop attacking every now and then. Oh, this sounds so epic! See, the problem that I have with that is that when you break an enemy, it stops. The damage stops on a sec on the secondary enemy and focuses more on the main enemy. Thus, you can get hit. Thus, giving your secondary enemy a free hit. Exactly the reason sometimes the enemies will get launched by an attack. Extremely difficult. You need that particular enemy to fulfill a quest. Here, you can、uh, in this game you can also acquire enemy weapons and you can equip their weapons. See, it's an enemy sword, which is so weird. As your divine skill, you can cult, you can equate multiple divine skills via the L button, well the L stick and the B button. Then you have a secondary weapon where you can have your main sword and your sub weapon. Let's see what we can do with the sub weapon. Oh, nothing. The sub weapon is basically a smaller item, so you can't equip two swords. Then you have your main. So now you can switch between two, two of your weapons from your heavy to your light, if that's what you want. Can't craft any armor. Got to find your accessories or craft them. This item is detrimental. It allows you to go back to your previous, to a previous save spot. I don't know what the hell that is. Hmm. You got a journal, recipes. That helps you craft food. You could craft food and items. You got a journal. Which will have your enemies, but that can look special. This 
can be used as a healing item once you have the ability to craft it. These red stones are called Hanyama. Can't do anything without them. It has a chip to see what I mean? What a way to make the game freeze, because it shouldn't happen with that, right? Anyway, so an Anima really can't craft or craft anything without it. You'll be getting like a whole bunch of Anima. However, this game has one flaw. If you die, suffer a defeat by an enemy, you have to backtrack all the way back. So, and collect the anima that, that you drop. That the game makes you drop anima for every death. Some of these enemies have pocket items that you can Sometimes you get these enemies, sometimes you don't. start doing double damage and everything. Yeah, it's a blind counter, so it's not block. This enemy here. The thing is that you're supposed to do a divine counter when you see the yellow that's the mission point, but not the red one. items you get their seeds. You can actually plant the grass and farm it for and farm the items for later so you can make healing items. Kinda smart, I guess, but when you do it, you know, it 
kind of... Well, you'll see. I'll, 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 I'll display it. See, I saw the yellow legs, but it still didn't go through. I don't think I'm going to have to get that when get launched like that. Counter with this enemy is so difficult because the only way you can really divine counter it is if, if you were in the middle of a jump. <laughs> or probably if you did it as it was landing, which I really don't understand how that works. This one will help you craft your items. Also, she will give you different quests to. Uh, to do so let's look at the kill list we'll be running into this one enemy later on when we climb the tower we'll be running into him later in the mine and i have no idea what the hell that is so let's go with quest it wants us to kill three of those grations Build of those enemies with the swords, regular enemies. Kill the cluster. I think this this particular quest is busted because it doesn't register. It's basically telling you to eliminate the enemies in the area, but it doesn't register when you kill so many enemies. Find the area. Eliminate target list. This is the worst, because you have to do ten of these in order to get something done. Alright. This is how we create items. Don't have enough flowers. Let's create seven of these. This is the grass that helps us craft. Now we can actually cook with this. I'm gonna take the enemy sword and enhance it. Wait, what the hell's a Taga Hamba gonna make? This is where you can craft your items, but you gotta have the item that you're looking for. Enemies don't really drop. 
Oh, well, you know. But enemies don't really drop items like that. Little bunny ears. Devil horns. Well, let's go with a hat. It's not a weapon. I really hate that menu. Here's my little daimyo hat. Alright. Yeah, Anima is also made for... Level, ...helping you level up. You got tidings. Which is for your skills, so let's see. I don't know what the hell that is. Every now and then, items replenish in that box, and it'll be like health items. Because you can barely, you can barely get enough, but find, you can barely find any material that forms health items, so they show up in that box. The map is just terrible. That's your map. Sometimes items will come your way. Sometimes. I mean, this game does try to be Muramasa a bit with the music, but it does fall short. But I say you'll see in a second when I get to the particular area. Particular item that, for some reason, still doesn't see what I mean. Doesn't really register because you have to find this item for I think an additional save point in between this one. Because in this game, your save markers aren't free. I just happened to be up in the air when that happened. So that's one skill counter. Nine more to go. Hopefully, trying to do skill counter doesn't kill me. Yeah, yeah. See? Let's 
see, that skill counter didn't count. I have no idea what's going on in here. Let me see if I can get this enemy to respawn. But this is actually the only enemy next to this wolf over here. It's the, it's the only way you can actually do a skill counter on. Which means you'll be taking a lot of damage just to... Well, it's not responding. Two scale counters for the time being, eight more to go. That's materials. This game was an early access. Yeah, I think it did. But there's a hell of a lot of area to explore. Nope. 
That's good. But there's an upper area over here. I think it leads out. See, once again, we got these corners that don't go anywhere. So what's down here then? Now we got six skill counters. I need four more. So I can actually do anything. This allows me to return to the maze's entrance. Which is right here. So these enemies respawned. Now we take a nap. The music is too low. Hold on a second. Let me make it a little louder. Yeah, 37 is good enough. the next area.
whole different area. Just skipping a whole lot.
areas I think it's here free as a sh no it's not but it does there's an area here that creates a shortcut let's see I don't know what the heck that is This area leads to this leads to a new area all entirely. Konnichiwa, Kisama. Ah, 
わたしの名前ちゃんとわたしたち姉妹名前これからよろしく Unfortunately, I can't speak to her about. Let's see, materialize. Yeah, I can't speak to her about the previous quest, so I have to go back, unfortunately. Kill those ones all over again. There's an enemy that I skipped because I went the other way, which is for this. I gotta find a mushroom for this. Demios, those are those fat enemies with that, with the, some, the axe like we weapon. So. These is what they're talking about. I'm a phantom thief. There we go. Didn't mean to do that. Level up. Of course, let's go to my tidings. Let's go for. Oh, I don't got no skill points. Level up. Now I can do something. Tidings. My health, more strength by two. What the hell is this? Focus, increase intuition. Let's do that again, and my skill. All right. Now, extract enema allows you to 
get anima from certain items. I want to use this stuff to level up. it on my health again, but I think I should use it on my focus. fight those minos. Actually, I'm going to stop the video here and then I'll come
Let's see, let's go this way first. It's not a noise outside. Yeah. Gimme more kishika. Yokosa. Kuruki kami ni michibikaresu. Sore ni shitemo. Konna ni hayaku kishiga. Hmm. Ma. Secondary in my sub weapon, and it comes with a sub a secondary divine skill as well. Shoots magic bullets ahead of you. No tidings. Not enough to level up. Slower. Now my head is starting to hurt. Guess I'm hungry. This is a dead end, so I can't get in there. But this is part of the early access, that's why I can't get to that particular area.
fire sword directly in the middle of this boss fight and it does no damage to it either. Hold the Y button to sword charge and strong attack breaks on walls. I didn't know that. in the next one.